In this demo video, I will show you how to use the warp commands to warp text. You can warp text, shapes, or even raster-based images in Photoshop. I'm going to demonstrate how to warp text because I think that you will use this more frequently than the other two options. The steps that you'll want to follow to warp text are to add text to your document. You can modify the typeface, the size, and color to your likings using the options bar, although you don't have to do it right away because your text will remain fully editable after you warp it, which is a huge benefit of the warp command. You'll then select the text layer you wish to warp via the layers panel, choose edit, transform, and then warp, and then the options bar will give you a list of preset options for warping your text. So let's jump to Photoshop and warp our text. I am going to delete the smart object I made in the previous video so that I only have this video, uh, video, this image from, this is an image from Southern Utah. I want to add text over the top. It doesn't matter what it says, you can add whatever you want. To do that, we're gonna use the type tool. So you're going to find the T on your tools panel, select it. If you click, you can add a line of type. If you click and drag, you can make a box for your type and your type will be bound to the box. We can then type whatever we want. So I used happy birthday before, so I will use happy birthday again. I am going to hit return between my words. Maybe add an exclamation point. Um, I'd like to make it bigger and maybe change the typeface. You can do basic text modifications using the option bar across the top of your Photoshop workspace. You can use a drop down to change the typeface. And so we can scroll through until we find the typeface that we like. I kind of liked asphalt. It's funky and birthday like. Um, I'm going to make my box bigger because birthday didn't fit across. And then maybe we need a contrasting color. Maybe we need like a bright green or something like that. So we can change the color of our text. Whoops. Um, I will do some stuff afterwards so we can read it better, but we'll use green for now. Maybe I want to use capital letters. I'm going to have to make my text a little bit smaller. So instead of 200 point, I will use maybe 170 point. Once you have finished typing your text, you can modify it in additional ways. So it's hard to read. So maybe we want to apply layer effects. So with the type layer selected, hit the FX button at the bottom of the layers panel. And then maybe we want to add a stroke. If you add a stroke to the outside, it can help make the text readable. In our case, maybe that means it needs to be a black stroke. See how right away it's easier to see. We could even increase the size of the stroke until it overlaps. Find something that you like. Um, you could even, if you wanted to, add an outer glow. So select outer glow, make sure the box is checked, and then you can add color to the outside of your design. Maybe I want it to be magenta. When you're happy with that, we can now finally warp our text. To do that, you're going to select the layer the text is on, choose the edit, transform, and then warp option. When you do this, your options bar will change and there will be an option to change what's being warped. You can cho change the warp to wave or squeeze or twist and there are a number of different options. I want you to notice a few things. Uh, first, that the warp is being applied to the box that I created and so I'm not getting the full effect of my box because my text doesn't take up the whole box. Uh, there are two ways to solve this. You can add more text, happy birthday, uncle, John, I love you, and then you can see how it would widen as it's created. Another way around this is instead of, let's delete that layer, instead of creating text in a box, you can just click and it's called point type. So now I can type
happy birthday. It's not within a box, so if I choose edit, transform, warp, I will see the full effect of what I'm trying to, or the shape I'm trying to warp into. So we can do arc lower, arc upper, and everything that you do will be applied to all of the words in your text. Once you find the warp that you like best, maybe it's this happy birthday twist, you can still go back and you can apply layer effects. So we can select the layer, choose FX for layer effects at the bottom of the layers panel, and again we can add a stroke to make it more legible. We can add an outer glow if we want to add the outer glow back in. And we still have the ability to say maybe that's too difficult to read. You can select the type layer, go back to image, transform and warp, and then change twist to squeeze. And maybe that's easier or better for your design. Or you could make it a flag. You have full control over editing the warp on your text.